Hello, 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 and welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I am your host, Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are back in Planet Crafter, where I deleted everything and started over. So, I've gotten along pretty good here a little bit. Not too far, but I got things moving. We'll go over everything that I've done so far. But I think in this episode, in this episode, um... I want to go to the volcano area, the volcanic area, and explore the new ship over there because I'm super curious to see what the inside of that looks like. And um, I think maybe we'll try to get to this ship here and we'll go through it again because everything needs to be opened up and unlocked again since um, this is a new world. But um, yeah, let's, um, let's, let's get into this. But before we get started, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the perfect time to click that subscribe button. It would make me so happy. And um, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this episode. And of course, if this was something you guys enjoyed watching, click that like button. Let me know. And with all that, let's jump into this. Let's play a little bit more Planet Crafter. All right, so this is my original three by threes. I think I called them six by six last time, but um, I got three of these in a row. And this was my original starting on this big platform I created in my last video. The only difference is now I um I got my bio lab up here, and it's connected to the butterfly room. And then I do have plant manipulator in here. They don't have an animal one, I don't believe. So I'm hoping that helps boost this room a little bit. And the tree bark room. So taking tree bark. And then we got our fish room here. Now, I'd like to try and see if I could add more fish to this room. Alright, so I put a couple fish farms in there. I wasn't supposed to, but I forced them in there. We'll put, um... A couple fish in there. I do believe it might have added more fish. I think it did. I can be happy with that. And then if we go downstairs. Is it this way? Yeah. So we can see it from here. Might try to add a couple more in there. But right now I'm happy. So we got this little tower room here. Um, we do have the plant manipulator. And um, like I said, we got the butterfly room, the tree bark room, the fish room, and our plant room. Bio room, whatever you want to call it. But um, yeah. And I do have heaters down. Let's go check that out. I've done some moving around a little bit. We've got some robots stacking up there. So I do also have some stairs going up to my bio lab. And then I also have a ladder here. Which is kind of convenient. So we have over here, you see my heat numbers actually moving. I mean, even with all the plant stuff I got going on, I think if I stare at the oxygen long enough, I could see a turn a number. 
but at least we can see movement on the board. All right, so for my main base, for my main base, we got a storm coming in. I'll let that pass and then we'll move on. But uh, let me grab some water and we'll grab some food. And we'll see you in a bit. All right, all right. So when we first come into the lab here, we have three um, empty storage containers. We got our DNA thing. We got our big crafting table, our little crafting table, and our food and water. Food and water is being supplied by bots. And over here we have our aquatic stuff, whatever. And then all our screens. We got one screen there. We got two screens over there. Now, my plan is to wall this off. Wall this off. No doors. And then everything back in through here is going to be auto crafting. And then I'm going to stack all these storage units as close as I can like they are now. So I don't intend on accessing any of these storage things. All of these are meant for the auto crafters. So if I need something, it's being supplied because they're being brought here on demand. The, they're being supplied from the um, mining apparatus back there, the drills. So if I happen to need something, whatever I might need from any resource at all, say, you know, I need um, power cells or let's just make it easy. Let's say I need some iron. So whatever I need will come over here to these things and we'll just click demand. And then once I get the amount of iron that I want, then I can just clear out that on demand box and um, we'll move on to something else. But I'm pretty sure I'll probably get like six or eight or 10 of these at once. All depending, I don't know how big the mining storage is. I'm kind of waiting here. I thought it'd be almost instantaneous. But you get the idea. So if I need stuff for crafting, I would just call it up. I don't have to go chasing down where's that storage at and access it. So there it is. There's all my iron. So I can now clear this out. And then I can request the next item. And then I can have three of these working at once. And then I also have a couple storages over here. So if I need to really supply, get a big supply of something, I don't know what. But that's my thought. I want to wall this off and not have to ever go looking for that one crate that has all the iron in it. Because it's going to get buried behind walls of storage, of storage, of storage. And then we're going to have walls of auto crafters and auto crafters and auto crafters and all the auto crafters they can be supplied so like this requires the iridium rocks the iridium rocks here is going to be full so if i need iridium rocks that means the drill is full right now and they should come pretty quick so i got not only the rocks but i got the rods and i could call either or or both so that's my plan. Shut that off and never access any of that stuff. It's being automated. All right, so let me get a little bit of food and water. This I'll take two waters. Throw this in there. Let's head over to the lava section. I did have to come over here because I installed... I don't think the texture's loading for me. 
I did install a drill. Is my... Is my teleporter... Oh no, it's right there. I don't know how all that happened. That was weird. But I did have to come over here and put a drill down because I needed that new element. Obsidian, I believe. Obsidian. There's my drill over there. So what we want to do is we want to explore this big wreck. I have no idea what's in store for us in here. But my plan is, is to leave a break from trail of lights. So I know where I've been. Oh, you know what? We can't do the wrecks yet. Because I don't have power cells being auto-crafted yet. Alright, storm's gone away. I got three of these supplying methane and two of these supplying nitrogen. So I'll be ready for that when I get to that stage. Good deal. Alright, let's head back inside. Alright, so there's our first methane. Very nice. So we should be able to make our sort quartz. There we go. And then we need to make fusion energy cells. And that's going to make that. Very good. All right. All right. So, say this is doing everything automatically. I want me some fusion energy cells up here. So we are going to demand. Where are you? There you are. We're going to demand it. And then we should start seeing them pop in here pretty quick. And I think once we have like six or so of them, we'll go ahead and start exploring those um, wrecks. Alright, let's take a look and see here. Uh, we got five of them. I think that's enough to do the first ship anyhow, I would hope. Alright, let's head back over to the lava wreck. So I did visit the lava wreck long enough to see that there is a wreck here. And um, I had to put down a miner because I needed that new element. But yeah, this is the new volcanic area. So we got this big ship here I want to check out. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I did make it this far here and realized I didn't have power cells, so I restarted this, but I'm going to lay down lights as breadcrumbs so that I know what rooms I've been in and what rooms I haven't. So I wonder if that door is going to open with a power cell. I guess we want to make sure there's nothing that can be destructed here. Don't these things destruct? 
thought they did. Well, that's a pretty big monitor. Oh, there's something on the other side of this wall. My thing's picking it up. Oh, there ain't no getting through there. And this door is locked. Alright. So I am kind of looking for seeds. I'm going to pull seeds whenever I see them. I don't think I really need anything else from in here. I don't think I can go any further to go in that direction. Got a room back there we can't get to. Not seen anything useful. I guess we're going into this room. Oh, we got a ladder here. Kind of a uh, command room, I guess. Oh, nothing I need here. So that's that room. Now I'm imagining this one's probably going to circle around too. Space food. Ooh, we need some of them. Guess we'll put a light in there. I haven't seen any seeds. This is crazy. Alright, so that's a full circle. So, been down that way, been down that way, been down that way. Do we do these stairs or these stairs? I say we do these ones first. Splits in this. Now I'm just gonna go down for a second. Alright, I just wanted to confirm that these were just opposite stairs of the stairs that we went up over there. Alright, so that's a dead end. 
pretty cool looking rooms going on here. Oh, here we go. So I guess we'll have to go back through all that to see what doors opened up. I knew some of these did be constructed. There was nothing there. That's a new ladder. I believe that is a new ladder. Alright, so I wonder if this is one of the rooms I opened up. through here open big safe oh my goodness squash we'll take that I'll take that production oh interesting there's a big safe down in this basement Glad it didn't require any kind of code to open it, but that'd been pretty cool if it did. Alright, so. I'm thinking we've probably taken care of all the upstairs here. Been in that room. Have we been down here? Yep, we were in there. We were in there. Oh, we weren't in here, though. Strange. I don't see nothing in this room. Unless I did go in there and I just didn't put a light down. All right, I think we can go down a level now. So this looks like the exit, yeah. Alright, so I did find another door that opened up downstairs. Let 
Not too sure what this room would have been. A lot of good stuff in here. I don't see anything else though. How close that was. Just wanna make sure there's no secret rooms going on. Oh look at that. De deconstructed technical debris. Alright, that's just same thing on the other side of the wall, that's all. Yeah. Technical debris. I think I have cleared out this ship. I don't see anything else in here. I don't think I missed anything anyhow. Tell you what, putting the lights down really helped me because I would have swore I haven't been in certain rooms when I had. I feel like I'm missing something still. covered everything on that ship but if you know something more that i haven't seen um comment down below let me know because i'll definitely revisit that but i think for now we'll go ahead back to our main base i do know there's a few secrets out here some um low ground bases with little ladders sticking up that you can get down there um, I'm not for sure the exact locations. I've just seen them. And I'm not sure where the new um, golden chests are either. But all that in due time. Right now I'm just trying to get back up to where I was with my base. And it's taking a little bit of time to get there. Oh no. Hate when that happens. So you can see we're piling them up here. Um, getting her done. Mining speed. Do you want? I feel like that's a waste of blue chip. Seeing how they already have all that unlocked. But, um, it is what it is. We'll find more, I guess. But, um, yeah. So, I can't wait to finish this up back here. 
So my plans is now I have to finish up the whole automation process here. And like I said, hopefully everything can be on demand to where whenever I want something, I can just call for it and it'll just show up. And otherwise, I don't have to touch any of this stuff once I set it all up. Um, I do want to go revisit that ship up there. So let's go grab some more of these power cells. I don't know. I don't know. Throw these things in there. I think we're good to go. All my water's coming from just those two. I realized in my last setup, you don't have to go big. You know, you, you're not constantly using water. There are times when you need a lot of water when you're crafting certain things. But most of the time, you don't need all that water. So if you store it all up, you should be good. And um, same thing, I got the algae growing out here. It's being collected. I do have a manipulator there in the middle. And where was we going to go? Oh, we're going to go just explore the big ship up on the hill. since I've been in this ship. We need all them seeds for the big mass garden we're going to plant. it for this corner nothing Oh wait, I, no, that's just that. Ah, that doesn't look right there. So I see they've kind of randomized the, the crates a little bit. Adding in some of the new stuff. I'm pretty sure this door is going to open up. Not sure about that door. Let's see what happens when we get to that. Oh, what did the message say? Good morning, it was our 17th day of space travel. 
restrained by something exterior. We are going to try to make an emergency landing. Planet seems to have a huge storm on the surface. Yeah, we get them storms all the time. It'd be okay. Alright, so there's our little fusion room here. Thought that door would open. It was this one. I'm not seeing anything really new in here yet. It pretty much looks the way it's always looked. Storage crate. It says there's a storage crate on the other side of this wall. Oh, look, we have another safe. Okay. Wow, look at all them terror tokens. Let's get the big ones. And then we'll fit in what we can fit. Put one of those hundreds back. Alright. I think we're full. And we found the safe. I don't think there's any secret rooms in here. I don't know what I just deleted. Okay. So the big ships has got safes on them that we need to go back and look at. Gotcha. <clears throat> Alright, so I think this kind of wraps up this video. I still need to put down a whole bunch of drills and do some other off-camera stuff. But we do now have some vegetation and stuff that I can... Um, put it in there. And, uh, start growing some real food and stuff. Because right now the only thing I'm growing is one bean and one mushroom. And two different plots. And it's crazy. It's taking forever to make my, uh, food over here. Although it is full now. Let's see how full the beans have gotten. You're full now. Beans are just starting to fill up. The honey's filled up. So like I said, you know, once everything fills up, it's it it's pretty simple simplified. I don't know what I'm saying. But um let me know because I'm really curious if you guys what you guys think about my idea of um just boxing in all these um, storage unit and just having anything that can be called from the outside world goes to storage anything that can be crafted would be crafted and everything is being shared I gather it from up there I don't have to come back here at all let me know what you guys think about this idea because I'm crazy about it and I'm really hoping this all works out if it does I'll be able to put glass up across these walls and, um, that would be that. These things would be boxed in and automated. I like that idea. Plus, I'm pretty sure I can fit all my storage in this little area if I put it in real tight and close like that. Same thing with the auto crafters. But, 
Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Click that like button. Let me know that you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you guys next turn. Thanks for watching.